so we talked about all the basics all types of functions value returning functions uh, void functions uh, function parameters uh, and uh, passing arguments to functions making changes to parameters global and local variables and we did this uh, we did all these things i believe returning multiple values already talked about it okay now we need to explain this before ending the chapter uh, standard library standard library is functions that have been written for you and you in python you are using some functions someone has written those functions like input like print range all these are actually what functions but someone has written them and all of them are available in a library when we say library in software it's like a collection library of functions and this library is called what the standard what and actually you don't have to do anything they are available to you all the time but remember if you want to use turtle what you did the first step what you did import turtle because it's not part of the standard library so you must import it and all the methods or all the codes you were doing when working with turtle actually you called functions forward left right these are all what functions and you were calling them from which library from the turtle library so this library or the standard library are available to everyone with the standard python you don't have to do anything tamam okay so modules what is a module files that store functions of what tamam help organize library functions into a built-in interpreter to call a function stored in a module like remember torter so you used to do what did we say import random here in this course or import math or something import what math right when did we import math when we use some functions huh? and uh, you did import turtle right so turtle actually is a file that has all the functions of the turtle what module and you were calling functions actually when you're working with turtle so now import what here what is a random like there is a like a module called what random and helps us generate random numbers but it's not part of the standard so you need what before you use it you need to what import it tamam good so random module includes library functions for working with random what okay so there are so many functions i'll show you what is, what are they but this is very simple so here when we go to the code i will say here rand one dot python what's the first thing we need to do import what import random tamam so now we have random now we can use the libraries in random by the way if you don't have the functions in the random module even if you don't don't remember just type random dot uh-huh what do you see uh all all what all the functions okay good 
we cannot explain them all, but I mean, you see all the things that are available, and most of them are what now? Functions. Do you get this here? Actually, you did this into, you wrote turtle dot, صح? Turtle is the module, and dot, after dot, you call a function. Do you get this now? Good? Right. So now, when we talk about, it's going to be module name and what? Okay, so random integer. What is random integer? Generates a number of uh, in the range provided. Okay, yani, if you say random integer between 1 and 10, it will return a random value randomly between what? 1 and? Okay, return integer can be used anywhere. Type I will huh? print random dot rand int. A cannot function, sir. One, two, what? Ten. I'll just run the program once. I'll see what is the output here. What's the value? Run it again. Now. Do you see it's any value between 1 and what? Does that make sense? So this is amazing for games, for uh, guessing, for uh, passwords, for many other things. So you, we are generating random values within a range. huh? I'll make this 100, Yavana. Do you get this? Huh? Is it a value random between what? Between 1 and what? Did you get this? So, random, random integer gives you a value between 1 and 100. Tamam? And you can use it for whatever reason you want. You are generating a random integer within a certain range, and whatever reason you want to use it, use it. Tamam? Ah, this is a very famous game, which is rolling the dice. What are the values? Ah? Huh? One to six, huh? Huh? So the minimum is what? And the maximum is? So in your code, you need to import random. Do you agree? So let's look at this code now here. Let's look at this code here now. Uh-huh. Import random. Do you agree? Minimum and maximum values for the dice. Do you agree? And here, let's look at the code here. So I'm calling which function in the beginning here? I'm calling the main function. And what is the main? While what? Is equal this or that? Do you agree? And now we generate two numbers. What are they? Twice, ah, do you see? Rolling the dice, the values are here. We do once and what? Twice. And they ask you, continue, yes or no? Here, what are the numbers now? Continue, yes. You know, this is going to loop again. To show you the values, huh? Yes. Do you see the values? They are what? Randomly between what? One and six is a good thing for this game. Does that make sense? Mashal hal. So now I'll say I do not want to continue. So this is a nice example. Okay. So rolling the dice is a nice example. Random integer will generate a random value from a range to another range. Now. Generating random numbers. There are so many different ways of generating random numbers. Similar to range function, but returns randomly selected integer, the sequence. Same arguments add. So now, rand range will return a number between what here? 0 up to 10. You remember range of for loop? So for for i in range 10, it would be 0 to 9. Rand range 
will be from zero to what? But 10 is not included. Do you get this? So now here, I I can show, okay, let us see another example here. Let's see another example here. Rand two. So here, import what? Random. Tamam. Hala x is equal to random dot rand range. Exactly like here. 10. So x will be from what? 0 to 9. 10 is not included. You remember range, sah? Yeah, good. You get this. Huh? If I run it once. H1, we are not printing, sir. So. Okay, here. Do you see it? But you will not see 10. Rand integer gave us 10. Tamam? If you want it, it's a, you. Tamam? Type here. 4. So now, Rand range, it would be somewhere between 4 to 9. Does, yeah, does, does that make sense now? 4 to what? 4 to 9. 10 is not going to be type. Allah here will be from 2 to 9, but the step will be what? 2. It's going to be one of those range values. 2, 4, 6, 8. صح? مش راح يكون غيرهم, right? 2, 4, 6, and what? And 8, right? That's it. تمام. I'll make this what? 100. Now you see this. You will get any any even number between 2 and 98. Mazboot? Tamam. So this is rand what? Rand range. It's very similar to the range function. Tamam. Here between 3 up to 9. And you know what's this? 0 to 51, 10. What will be here? 0, 0, 101, 10. Which values you will get? 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. Any any value like 10 between what? 0 and 100. Do you get this now? So if you want to generate random values now, you know what to do. And so many applications, so many games, so many applications really need random values. Tamam. So let's see the next step here. We did this now. There is a ran random here. There is another fun inside random. There is a function. Inside the random module, there is a function called what? Random. It will return not an integer. What? A float between what? 0 and 1. But 1 is not? يعني, okay. طيب, خليكم معي. طيب. Here, what was the function? Random. And this will generate something between what? Zero and one. You don't have to do anything. صح? Look at the output. Do you see this? تمام. طيب. يا أخي أنت you could say I need a number between uh, a float. I need a float but between zero and ten. What to do, يا ستي? Just multiply it by ten. You need it between zero and one million. Multiply it by what? You get this. This will generate the basic, uh, huh? Now look at this, huh? Is this what you want? Does that make sense, huh? You want it between 0 and 100, tamam. So now, just multiply it. Yani this will generate what? The core of it, huh? The seed, huh? And then you multiply it with what? In your application. Tamam? Do you get this, Yabinat? So this function will return any value, any real number between what? Zero and one. One is not included. Yani you will not get one random here. If you want one to be included, then you can use which one? Uniform. Uniform will return a random floating point number in a range. This one. But for this one, one and ten are included. You get this? Yeah, but not. Yani. Huh? Now I'll just change this. 
rand HTML function uniform, right? Uniform between zero and one. Here, zero and one are what? Included. Do you get this, Yavanet? Zero and one are? Yeah, you might get zero. But you know, the chances are very rare, huh? To get the same number again. But in this example, uniform, zero and one are what? If you want values between zero and 10, tamam. Go ahead. Yeah. Use uniform, and that's it. Yani. Uniform gives you more freedom because you decide you don't have to multiply with anything. Do you get that? You just can decide where to and from, huh? This will give you any random value between what? Between zero and 100. Both of them are included. Do you get this, Yabanet? Both of them are included. Zero is included and 100 is what? Included. Hello, random numbers created in a random module are actually pseudo random numbers. Seed values need a different to use order by default. Tamam. Hello, this is not important to you now. It's important in other languages, but not in Python. However, how the computer generate random numbers? How, how, and it generate random numbers? Okay, Tai. Tab is there a value that keeps changing forever? Is there a value you have in it? Uh, yeah, time. So time does not repeat itself. It's 10:35. What is the date today? So, so halas, right? So okay. Time will not come back, right? Every second, there is a new what? Unique time stamp. Yes or no? So? Time. Computers, how computers calculate time? You know how computers calculate time, you haven't Time for computers is the number of seconds since January 1, 1970. Yani. Computer calculate time by calculating the number of seconds from January 1st, 1970. And every second they add a new second. It's like accumulation of seconds. Do you get this? So the number of seconds now while I'm talking is increasing by 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes or no? So the number of seconds is, is, never, is never repeated. You get that? Because it's, it will be always what? Increasing, sah? right? So this number is unique every second. Do you agree? This number is what? Unique what? Every second will not get the same number again. Sah? The time. Computer uses, computers use time to generate random values. You get this? Yeah, they, get, they, they use this this never repeat itself value to generate what random what values because computers need something to calculate random they need something that that never repeats itself you get my point otherwise it's not going to be what random يعني فا إذا بقول له من واحد لعشرة وحسب random طب من واحد لعشرة they keep repeating themselves from one to ten right and the values will be repeating like those uh, some some games sometimes when you play play old games the choices are repeated and you can predict even the scenarios because they are not really using random values so when i say random here computers take advantage of time which is the number of seconds since 1970 to generate what random values tamam Math module, did we use it? Yeah. Huh? Well, you use it. Did you use a float when you do input? Actually, float converts a string to float. Do you get this? Did you use uh, a security? Okay, so and then this is what? All of them are from where? Math module, part of the standard library that contains functions that are useful for what? 
typically accept one or more what values تمام اوكي طيب see the functions in the math what are the functions here cosine sine tan ceiling so many functions floor مش عارف مين log log of 10 radians sin okay uh, sine sqrt tan and so many functions تمام يعني you can huh? you know this صح ولا لا and this was not a function this was a value huh? the math module also في variables like by and what you know e and by huh? so they are defined there صح these are not uh, يعني okay you also can define what in your module you can create functions and define also some values or constants do you get this ماشي اه طب احنا عملنا سيركل صح ولا لا import math okay شو هاد do you think in the area عندهم uh, math ولا عنا احنا اه uh? this is what here just using the math right this is just using the math rectangle ليش استخدمنا الماث احنا do we need it why do we need math for rectangle we, we don't need it صح here we need it for pi for even power تمام okay so now this is the math module it has a variable طيب now this is the point where يعني why we need to stop here now do you see that functions of certain type are grouped in one module yes or no معين تو ولا لا good طيب we will do this our own we will create our module and put our functions in it and what use it import it whenever we no need to write code again and again you get this you still you are not getting it we will for example student function we will put them all in what in one module and give that module a name and the user from anywhere, any user in our high or online hitta can, do can download our module and use the functions. Let's see this. We will create a simple module here. And I'm just clarifying the ideas here. Tamam? Good. I'll close the folder hatta. Tamam? Okay, fine. Open folder. احنا وين بشتغل انا في سي هير عندي بدي اسمي نيو فولدر ستودنت اه ولا كيو يو ستاد دوز ذات ميك سنس وات از اور فولدر كيو يو ستاد تمام عملت نيو فايل سميت سوري هير اوكي ستاد Okay. Q student. What's the library name now? What is the library name you have in it? Q student. Tamam? Good. In which folder is a different idea? Type. I'm going to create a module. Def is bass score. How, what do you return to the user? If the score is great in Qatar University, score must be greater than or equal to 60, صح? In school system, uh, صح? صح? So return what should I return to the user? Score is greater than or equal to what? طبعاً, if this is true, what will return to the user? True. Ah, uh, Is. Is usually any function that starts with is returns what? True. So you can simplify it, huh? If a score is greater than or equal to what? 60, return true, sah? But you need to, huh? Else what? 
return what? This is simplified version of what I did. صح ولا لا يا بنات؟ ماشي؟ Ah, this is simplified. طيب. Good. What is the max score and minimum score in uh, Qatar University courses? Max score is equal to what? Minimum what? Is equal to what? Now in your modules and your, you don't have to know or use the value. You can just get this value from here. Tamam? Time. What is uh, what is A, B, C in a function? What did we use here? The grade. Did we do one on grade? Abinat. Akid. Ma amna. Return A, B, C, D. Ma amna. She zay hak. So now. Ah. Type def. Get grade. Score. Tamam. What? Yalla, tell me. If. Score is greater than or equal to what? And score less than or equal to what? 100 return what? A, صح? Or fin and all what? A grade is equal to what? A, L, F. Score is greater than or equal to what? 80. I don't want to make it be plus so high. So grade is equal to what? LF. What? Score is greater than or equal to 70. Grade is equal to C, LF, and the score is greater what or equal to 60 it's grade is equal to d else grade I'm assuming the grade is valid grade is equal to what f finally return what return grade does that make sense so if you want the score or if you want best What's the minimum GPA in Qatar University? Minimum what? Is equal to what? Max max GPA is equal to what? 4.0. Tamam. Good? Sahih? Tay. Let us say just I need these two things, huh? What is the file name here I'm using? What is the file name? Tamam. Good. By the way, I am now working on Python 2.python. One D score of a student. Okay, I need to find what is his what? Grade. I know I have written the function in a mo module called what? So to use it, the first thing I need to use import what? You student. بس خلاص. And now, huh? I can say grade is equal. What's the module name? Q what? Dot. What's the function? I think this moment the idea is clear. Yes or no? Is it? صح. Get grade of what? Do you get this, Yavana? So Brent what? So module name what? Function name. And imagine you can what? Put all your functions in, in more than one module. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. Okay. Here we get F. We get whatever. Yeah, I want to know if a student pass or fail. What happens to call which function? You can call whatever function. huh? And I'm just showing you how to put functions inside what? A module. Taib. You can say the module name is Wallahi big. Huh? إن البقرة تشابه علينا صح؟ So now what to do here? As Q U. Now when you say as Q U, يعني in my code أنا راح I will call it what? Because I am lazy I will call it what? So here what happens now? Do you see this Evanet? So as you can do this to random by the way and all other. So as now here, do you see? Is it working? 
Then you get this Yabana. So you can say as what? Now, whatever function, uh, later, after one week, you want to create a function or even provide what? Tama, what? When, if you want to um, uh, pass threshold, fi jamaat al najah fi harbin. Do you know this? Ah? Uh? Do you know? No, fi ah? The British system. Hella here. I'm gonna use here what? You understand? Yeah, but that's what I'm doing now. And خلاص يعني okay. Hella حتى even I can use these values, huh? Look here. If you want to know uh, uh, q u dot what? But, okay. What is this? Yeah, you can use these values in my your what? Like by by is what? Someone put the value of by in a module called math. Do you get this? And for you in your business, whatever reason you need, you can create your own module and provide what? Provide uh, whatever you want here. Anything you want. You just need to what? Your code needs to what? Import it. You import what? What you import? The file name. The file name is Q, Q student, right? And actually, there was a file name called math. You imported it. There was a file name called random. You did import it. Does that make sense, Yabanat? Tamam. So, did we store functions in a module? And this is very useful, okay? When you do your projects later, don't put your, I mean, there is a main code and there are module or libraries. Put your libraries or functions in a module file and just keep calling them. Don't put them inside each other. Does that make sense? So here, just need to what? Import it. If the name is too long, you can say import what here? As, and any function in that module, you just dot, Whatever you do, huh? Q U dot. Then you see all the available things. Max GBA, bass threshold, get grade is a function. Do you see the difference between value and a function? Ah, max GBA is a value, sir. Uh, but get grade is what? Do you see the cube? Ah, okay. Bas خلاص نو ما في هون عنده no other functions. تمام. So modules. Are very easy, and by the way, the easiest language I have ever seen to create modules is uh, Python. Ala tool, one file, and that's it. Put your code inside it, and just import it. Give it any name if you want, and that's it. So, <clears throat> random number. Okay. So that's all about functions. You will see functions again and again. I'll just now just. Uh,